know, I think my Commodore 64 is cool and all, but if only it could talk. It appears as though your wish has come true. Who said that? It is I, Sam, the voice of the Commodore 64. Okay then. SAM, or Software Automatic Mouth, is a text-to-speech program for the Commodore 64. It was also released for the Apple II and Atari 8-bit machines. SAM is actually a true speech synthesizer. And what do I mean by that? Well, devices that you might think of as early speech synthesizers like the Texas Instruments Speak and Spell and the Commodore Magic Voice cartridges are not exactly true speech synthesizers. I know, I hate to burst your bubble there, but I say they're more like speech samplers. Let me demonstrate with a Commodore Magic Voice cartridge. I don't exactly have one and they're not exactly cheap to come by, so I'll just use Vice for this. Once it's been inserted to the cartridge port of the computer, we can use the Say command in BASIC to make it say things. So we can make it say computer here. <laughs> Let's try to say something like YouTube. As you can see, it gives us an illegal quantity error. That's because YouTube is not in its database of words it can say. Therefore, it can only say words that are in its database of 234 pre-recorded words. You can actually just type the say command followed by the index number for each word and it'll say that word. <laughs> With that out of the way, let's talk about SAM. First thing it asks we you to load it is if you would like to be loaded into low RAM or high RAM. This is so that it can be used with other programs. So you can have like a game or something and then Sam running in the background and the game can have like speech parts in it but we're just gonna load it into low RAM for now once we've got that we have to if we want to actually tell it to say things we have to load a program called say it so that basically will allow us to interact with Sam oh and fun fact it's say it is written entirely in basic first thing it asks us if we want is if we want Sam or reciter if we just want to type in plain English, we select Reciter. And now we can just type in anything and Sam will say it. Hello world. So unlike like the Speak and Spell and the Commodore Magic Voice cartridge, Sam uses homophones, or basically the sounds that letters make, and it stitches those together to make words. So that means it can say things that didn't even exist back then, like YouTube. It isn't perfect, so it need to break certain words down to get Sam to say them properly. Something you might have noticed is that the screen goes blank when Sam is saying something. This is because Sam uses every little bit of CPU power that the Commodore 64 has. Due to the way that the CPU shares its memory with the video chip in these old Commodore computers, Sam disables the video chip so that the CPU can have uninterrupted access to the RAM and spend 100% of its time running code. I should also mention that Sam does understand punctuation. What? What? If you want to change the way the voice sounds, you can hit F1, which will bring up a menu of different attributes you can go in and change. There are several in the manual that you can punch in, and here they are. I am the default. I am a stuff I call. I am a little old lady. Guiding the swing. I am a next job. You're also not limited to using the Say It program to interact with Sam. When Sam is loaded, you can actually use several commands in basic for controlling the voice and as well as in conjunction with the Say command. Here's a little example program that was in the manual. And do we run it here? I need the phone phone. I wonder what else from 1982 could have inspired that. CD phone home. My god, he's talking. In fact, I was inspired to write my own little basic program that allows you to interface with Sam. I called it SIP, or Sam Interface Program. I know, really creative there. And really all this does is just allows you to select the different, uh, voices that are listed in the manual and then say things in them. 
So uh, yeah, kind of a neat little program I made. All in all, Sam. This is a pretty impressive for something that came out in 1982 and runs on the Commodore 64. And it's cool to see how many things these days use speech synthesis, such as scam telephone calls. Hello? This is the legal department calling to tell you that if you don't send us gift cards, Please you will be stop arrested. Calling me. Those annoying YouTube videos where people are too lazy to actually record their own voice. Welcome to 10 shocking facts about Sock Lint you probably didn't know. Okay, on a more serious note, various different voice assistants like Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, and Siri, as well as like GPS's and whatnot. Not to mention the accessibility benefits for the visually impaired and people who can't talk. Oh, and uh, one more thing. So people have actually reverse engineered Sam and made it into a thing you can run in your browser. Hello, my name is Sam. Links below in the description. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.